been teaching for 17 years. This is my ninth year as a school librarian. In 2022, the role of a school librarian is changing and changing rapidly. My name is Jamie Gregory and I teach at Christ Church Episcopal School in Greenville, South Carolina. My role as a school librarian and as a journalism newspaper teacher is to help teach students how to find information that's credible. We're ready to start. I always start my class by giving a survey of their news habits. They overwhelmingly say that they get their news from YouTube and from social media apps. I have 11 students in my journalism class. When I took on this job at Christ Church, it had been over 10 years since I had taught a journalism class. Students were not getting news from social media back in the mid to late 2000s. And when I first got out my teaching materials from when I had done it before, I knew immediately I could not teach it the same way. I first became aware of the News Literacy Project's resources back in 2015-2016. I quickly knew that I was going to have everything I needed to help me develop a curriculum. I have used the news goggles, slideshows. I use the SIFT every single week. I have also used elements of Checkology and the news quizzes that are on the News Literacy Project website. We're going to look at this quiz from the News Literacy Project and test your knowledge of social media platforms policies. I feel that the news literacy education I've provided with my students has been transformative for them. Students are able to have more complex and in-depth conversations about the types of news that they are consuming. I think as news literacy education picks up momentum and as we help fight the narrative of misinformation, we are helping students navigate information overload. Being named the News Literacy Project Educator of the Year was a big surprise. I see myself as a regular teacher who is just trying to meet the needs of her students. I'm so humble and grateful for the honor. I will never forget attending my first news literacy camp and hearing John Silva say, every student has the right to news literacy education. It reignited my passion and I knew I was in the right place and I have not looked back.